I feel like I have been inundated with so much beautiful fashion content and fashion inspo lately, and yet I have also been feeling very frustrated and limited by my own wardrobe and outfits. I think it's maybe partly just because it's too hot to wear the kind of outfits I love the most and feel the most comfortable in, and maybe partly because I'm on sort of an extended trip right now to visit my family so I don't have my entire wardrobe with me, but I also think it might be because I have been inundated with so much inspiration, yet have not actually been putting it into practice. Practice. Most days I spend my time at home, so I'm just not really getting dressed and putting together full outfits that I love lately. And I think the disconnect between the inspo I'm loving and the clothes I'm actually wearing is kind of stressing me out. So today I am going to try to exercise that creative muscle with my own closet and actually translate my inspo into reality. Okay, for my first outfit, I really want to draw from this inspo because I have been wearing so many just like loose, simple summer dresses like this just around the house. But what makes this exciting is all the fun, unique accessories. So I'm going to start with one of my go-to loose, comfy, neutral dresses. And then for those accessories, like I look at this and I'm like, oh, I love that bag. I love that sunglasses. I want those. But I already have cool bags and sunglasses and so much cool stuff. I don't need more cool stuff, as beautiful as these are. I can use my favorite green striped tote bag, which I sewed myself. I can use my favorite go-to sunglasses that I wear all the time and love. I have my own tall boots, my own unique chunky pendant necklace. And then finally, for the oversized hair accessory, I have this incredible oversized scrunchie that I made myself in last week's video and I'm extremely proud of. So let's try all this together. Okay, first of all, sorry if this setup is kind of weird. It's temporary. Here's the base for outfit number one. I already braided my hair to have the little scrunchie and honestly, just already this dress with boots and a braid feels so much chicer and more fashionable to me than when I'm just like wearing it on its own at home. So I'm already feeling good. Let's add all our little accessories. I feel so cute and chic, even though this is literally so simple. Just adding those little touches really does make me feel so much more stylish. Now for the, the moment of truth, the final touch, this scrunchie. Okay, honestly, I'm not sure if like, this colorful thing with the colorful necklace feels like too much to me, but I still think it's really cool. But this is actually great news for everyone out there who doesn't have a, a homemade giant patchwork scrunchie. That is not what's making this outfit for me. I think just like the little unique details, even when they're not super big and dramatic, make me feel so chic in this. Even just a black ribbon like in the inspo, I think would be so cute with this. Should we just try it with a black ribbon just to see how we feel about that? Let's try it. Yeah, this is also adorable and also much more accessible than my homemade giant patchwork scrunchie. I love this. It's got that little bits of eclectic charm that I really like in an outfit, but it's still very practical and easy for summertime. I'm gonna need an excuse to wear this as soon as possible. Okay, this next outfit is sort of the opposite type of inspo as the last look because this is super simple, but what makes it cool to me are the unique traits of the simple pieces involved. The wider leg, longer line shorts just have such presence to me in the outfit. And then the little scarf as a top is just such a cool effortless look. So much more interesting than just a basic tank top. I just thrifted these longer line shorts that are definitely longer than anything else I own currently. So I'm very excited to try those out. They also have some great pleating and very wide legs. And then I have this scarf, which I have tied as a top before. I know it works great. So I'm gonna try those together and then we'll probably add in some accessories once we have the base. All right, we have the base together for this outfit. I, again, already love this. I feel so very cool and chic in this. And we have the perfect shoes to add a little extra interest because because they're red and this is red. I also left my little braid in just because I think it's cute. And as a little reminder to myself that a fun hairstyle can be one of the accessories to a simple outfit. I just wanna add some jewelry and then hopefully we'll have what feels like a complete look. Okay, I love this. I, I feel so chic right now. I'm like, who is she? Who is that cool and effortless girl who looks like she's on vacation in Europe? All the Europeans are screaming at me that that's not accurate. I will say the one downside to a scarf as a top situation is you have to tie it really tight so it stays up, which then makes it slightly uncomfortable. And I feel like <sighs> I keep having to take really deep breaths in this. We're sacrificing comfort ever so slightly for the scarf as a top. But like, I've worn this as a top before. It's not so 
out of the realm of possibility that I would never do it. And I feel really cute in this. Okay, this outfit I love so much because it looks so simple and comfy, but still so adorable. I love a vest for some summer layering. I love the little plaid boxer shorts. For my outfit, I have these plaid pajama shorts that I actually also did in last week's video as a thrift flip. And I truly think it would never occur to me to just pair them with a plain white t-shirt and a little vest over the top. I'm gonna do this brown suede one, which I think will add some great warmth and texture to the outfit. All right. Here's what we have for this outfit. I don't love the tie poking out here. I actually remember Lainey mentioning in a recent video that she thinks the tie makes these sorts of shorts and pants look less like pajamas, but to me, it makes them look more like pajamas. I guess because a lot of my pajamas have a tie like this. So I just want to like tuck it in <laughs> for now. And I think I like this color scheme better too without the red. For shoes, I went with these brown fisherman sandals to, you know, kind of coordinate with the brown vest and keep with the like very comfy casual vibe. And I think this is cute, but I feel like maybe it's missing something. I'm going to see what looks the best and then I'll come show you the finished outfit. Okay, so I decided what this outfit needed was A, a hair bandana because it looks like a little more cute and styled, but it keeps with the super casual tone. B, some jewelry. Just to finish things off, I think it was looking sort of pajama-y to me. Jewelry just always makes an outfit look more finished. And see, my big funky tote bag, just to, again, make it look like I meant to be, you know, going outside in this outfit, but still keep the very casual tone. I feel extremely comfy. I feel like I'm wearing pajamas, but I think I look cute. Like, I could leave the house in this. I honestly don't know if I would, just because I know these are pajamas, and that makes me feel like I'm going outside wearing pajamas, which is just something I don't really do. I don't know. Let me know. If you if you saw me out in the world in this, would you be like, that girl's wearing pajamas? Or would you be like, cute outfit? Those are the only two options. <laughs> On today's topic of exercising your creativity and developing your skills, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and helping me develop many fashion-related skills. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes across film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, and so many more. I personally used Skillshare before ever working with them to develop my graphic design skills and successfully start doing freelance graphic design, so that was pretty awesome. <laughs> and I've also just had so much fun engaging with my my hobbies and interests through their classes, especially with the extra free time I have in the summer. Lately, I've been greatly enjoying Jaren DeBag's class. So sorry if I'm butchering her name. Character illustration with bold fashion, drawing figures and dogs in Procreate, which combines two of my greatest passions in life, fashion and drawing. Here are some of the drawings I've made from her instruction in this class. I think they're very cute. I simply love to learn and explore my many creative interests. And if you do too, click the link in the description because the first 500 people will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. It's literally free. What have you got to lose? Okay, just give it a try. You'll have a great time. Okay, so I recently thrifted this very sort of frilly, flowy, flared out little short skirt, which is a style I love but did not previously have in my closet. So I was looking for some style inspo and I fell in love with this image. I'm very into the idea of pairing like a girly little skirt with some more casual androgynous pieces. I love a retro sporty style. So I just love this skirt with a little raglan tee and sneakers. I thought for a different take on sort of a retro sporty top, this little boxy polo shirt could be cool. I realize this is like a very different color story than our inspo and honestly I'm not totally sure how I feel about these colors together, but we're gonna try it. Then we got sneakers. Try not to judge how dirty and beat up these are. We've got a cool tote bag. No over-the-ear headphones, but maybe I can replace those with a different interesting accessory. And yeah, let's try it out. All right, here's our base. And honestly, I never would have put this top with this skirt, but I think it's really working for me. We also have the sneakers. And then to complete the outfit, I was going to use this tote bag, but I feel like this combination looks a lot less straightforwardly sporty than the inspo. And so I kind of want to bring back that sporty utilitarian vibe into the look a little more. So instead of this bag, I want to use this bag. It's more utilitarian. It's more streamlined. I don't like my bags on that side. I got to switch it around. And then to top it off, instead of the over the ear headphones, I've got some sporty sunglasses. And I like that because they have yellow lenses, they're adding like a new color into the look. Weirdly enough, 
I feel like looking at it on me, it kind of feels like it's still missing something. Like I want another piece or another color to sort of unite and anchor everything. But I feel like if I saw this on Pinterest, I would pin it and be like, that's so cute. I like it. I want to wear that. Just goes to show not everything you would pin on Pinterest is going to be exactly what you would actually wear. I don't know. I think I would wear this, but I want there to be something else. This is where I'm like, curse you summer weather. I want another layer on this, but I can't add one because it's too hot. That said, overall, I like this. I think it's cool. Okay, this next photo is honestly one of the most exciting, inspiring fashion photos I've seen online in a while. I mean, look at this. First of all, this dress is everything. Secondly, the waist scarf and the chunky belt. This is just like so funky, eclectic, cool to me. It's something I'm so drawn to. And like, it is making me just want to own these exact pieces, but I know I can create something similar with stuff I have. This dress doesn't have the sleeves, but it does have sort of a similar color scheme, a similarly small, busy pattern. And then I promise I'm not trying to use every single DIY from last week's video in this video, but I recently made this little hair scarf again in that video, and I realized it's actually the perfect size to also tie around my waist. And on top, the chunkiest belt I have available to me is this silver medallion one, which I think will actually go with, with this vibe super well. This is something I absolutely never would have come to on my own, but I'm really excited to try it out. Okay, I'm in love. I'm in love and I'm obsessed. This is so cool to me. It's so cool, but it's so easy. Like I'm literally just wearing a sleeveless dress, but this makes it so interesting and like eclectic. I love that since this is already patchwork, you can kind of clash it with any other pattern and it all just looks cool and unified. And then the belt layered on top, I, this is just so cool to me. The like bandana and the medallion belt is giving sort of a Western vibe. So I feel like we gotta go with some tall boots. So good so cool, so chic. And then, I mean, I think you could totally be done here. However, because I'm extra and I just love this hat, and since we're feeling a little Western, you know, how could I resist a big straw hat? I will take every opportunity I have to wear this hat and incorporate it into my life. I love it. I feel so cool. I feel so good. And I feel like I'm so ready to go like lounge outside. I love this so much. I'm not even thinking about how jealous I was of the original inspo right now <laughs> because I'm too busy enjoying my own version. Okay. I think this outfit is a perfect one to try to recreate because it's so Pinteresty. It's like totally made up of trendy pieces that I feel like I don't have that makes me want new stuff. So this is a great opportunity to analyze specifically what I like about this outfit, what I like about these pieces, and where I can find those traits in my own closet. Firstly, I love this tank top because it has a fun shape, it has fun colors, but it still looks really comfy. And honestly, that is something that was really lacking in my wardrobe until recently, but I just made this tank top and I just thrifted this tank top. Next, I love the necklaces in here. I love that they're sort of like simple and neutral and natural, but still chunky and statement making. I think this pearl collar one definitely fits that bill. The other thing I find appealing here is the shoes. The pointed toe is of course very trendy, but I also love that they have a little graphic on them. They just add something so fun to this outfit. I have DIY'd some kitten heels to add some little rosettes, which is kind of also like a fun little graphic on a shoe. There's obviously also jeans in a bag, but I don't really care about those. They're not what's drawing me to the outfit. So I'll probably just fill those in with whatever. Okay. Hi everyone. Um, I need to be so real with you all. I have tried so many different iterations of this outfit off camera and none of them are working for me. I've tried it with this top and with this top. I've tried it with these black jean shorts, with these like baggy cargo shorts, with these cargo pants. And like, they're all fine. None of them are like ugly to me or something I would never wear, but none of them are giving me what the inspo picture gives me. I think there might be a couple reasons for this. One, none of my tops have quite the same color scheme as this top. I love this color scheme. Second reason, I didn't bring any blue jeans with me on this little extended visit. The third reason I think it might not be working is that these shoes with this top, it's not colorful. It's just one color, which is red. And then these shoes with the red flowers and then this color scheme just like isn't working for me. It doesn't look right. So I think the problem is my key items of these tops and these shoes don't work together. So let's just try a whole nother iteration of this outfit where instead of trying to get as close to the inspo as possible, I just look at it and then try to make an outfit that I like as much as possible. Okay, here's one of my other iterations of this outfit. And honestly, I really think it's just these shoes 
don't work with this outfit. These shoes are much chunkier. They have much more substance, which is something I generally tend towards. And most importantly, they just don't have the little red flowers that clash with this top to me. But they still have a little visual interest because they have like contrast stitching on them and little cutouts. I think these work much better. Oh, I also just realized I forgot the cute little bag. Hold on. Okay, honestly, I don't really have any of my cute small bags with me. So we're just going to add this one instead. I think it corresponds very well with the shoes. I mean, this is just a super realistic everyday outfit for me. Like this isn't something I would put on to be fashion-y, but this is totally just something I would wear day to day for any sort of, you know, casual summer life activities. And I feel really cute in this. I'm no longer thinking about how it's failing to live up to the inspo because I'm just like letting it be its own thing instead of trying to get all those specific little on-trend elements. Finally, I want to end on this outfit because I realized I actually own pieces relatively similar to these and my pieces primarily don't seem as fresh and exciting just because they're not new. I've had them for years at this point. But if they were new, I, I bet they would be very appealing to me. So I'm going to try to see them with fresh eyes to create this outfit. I have my own pale yellow tank top with a graphic on it. I also have this blue midi skirt that isn't particularly similar in style to that one, but they're both blue midi skirts. This one also has a pattern. So there's like a similar level of visual detail, even though it's not as intense and maybe trendy as this one. Of course, we have my very dirty beat up sneakers again. We'll add a fun bag, some funky sunglasses. And there you go. Okay, I'm kind of torn on this one because on the one hand, I feel like if I saw this on Pinterest, I would like it and think it's cool. On the other hand, I don't know if I love it in real life on me. I think this bag is not working with this outfit. So first of all, let's get rid of this. But also, I mean, this is just not like a fashion-y tank top for me. This is something I wear like to go climbing or as pajamas or on a very casual day. It has an ice cream stain on it. So let's maybe switch it up and go for more of a graphic tank top that's more fitted. And then also the bows are a big part of what makes this cute to me. So I think maybe I'll add some in my hair instead of on the skirt. All right, I'm back. I decided to keep this top because I felt like it was adding more color to the look, but I did add these little braids with bows. And also I decided the sneakers were doing absolutely nothing for me. So I switched to my favorite sandals and I already feel cooler. This is another one of those outfits where I'm like, I wouldn't put this on if I were trying to like really do an outfit. This is like a very everyday kind of look for me, but I like it for that. And I think it's a fun combination that I wouldn't have put together otherwise. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope this gave you some inspo to style what you already own and explore your own closet and your own inspo with some creativity and fresh eyes. If you like my style and my styling choices, you can book my virtual personal styling services through the app index that is linked below along with my art Etsy shop, my Instagram, whatever else you're looking for is probably there. And oh, I heard if you leave a comment on this video, watch another one like this one right here and subscribe, your white sneakers will never get embarrassingly dirty and beat up. They will stay pristinely clean forever.